we've just released here at the Brisbane Caravan and Camping Show this new device for watching and recording television on your computer. So this is the little device here. It's a USB television tuner. So with this device we're able to plug into the local aerial through an aerial lead then we can watch and record television anywhere it's available. So with this little lead, I've plugged into the computer, the USB device, and then I can plug this lead into the into my caravan aerial, my pop-top aerial, any, any aerial like that, and then I've got free-to-air television into the computer. So we're not playing for internet or downloads or next G or any other uh, way you're paying money. Here we're just watching TV on the computer, free to air at no charge. So when we say it's $50, we mean it's just $50. There's no other ongoing cost. So while it comes with a portable aerial, we can also plug into our caravan aerial. So once we do that, we get full television signal into the, into the laptop. The laptop really does the rest as far as recording, playback, snapshot, all those functions that you're used to with a fancy television. So in this case, we don't need a 12 volt television. We've got the laptop. We don't need a set top box. We've got the USB device. We don't need a recording TiVo type function. We've got it here on the computer. comes the CD and on the CD is the driver and the program called Blaze HD TV 6 Deluxe. So you're paying for, you're getting the full license copy of the program and on the reverse of the CD packet is the full license code. So when you come, when you've loaded the program it asks you to enter your name and your number, uh, your email address and the license code you can load that and away you go. Hi, it's Aldwin here. We're at the 2011 Caravan and Camping Show and we have here Max from Digital TV on your laptop with a very groovy little device here. And I believe it's very new in Australia. Is that correct, Max? That's right. This, this particular model has only been released here at the show by us. We're the importers. We're the first people in Australia to have this product and we released it here at the show. And basically, it's a television tuner for your uh, laptop or your desktop computer and with it we get to watch, record, playback, free-to-air television. Fantastic. So what were people doing before this came out when they're travelling around Australia? Yes, there have been older models around for quite a while, um, a varying degrees of quality, but this is now the new version with the new uh, chip, a uh, fraction of the size of the old ones and it means we can now watch TV wherever we go. Wow, that's amazing. And how many channels can you get? Uh, here in Brisbane, in the, at the showgrounds, we're getting 27 channels. That varies from town to town around Australia. Uh, but really, most towns in Australia now have digital television. Wow. So we're getting all the digital and HD television channels. Okay. And do you have a shop front? Or uh, no, we just work. My wife and I do this. We just work at all the shows, caravan shows, agricultural shows, and sell this product. And what's the warranty on it? We give 30 day unconditional guarantee to our customers. It's electronics. If it's going to break down, it breaks down straight away. But in actual fact, our customers ring us up later on with problems. We help them through. It's our business. We're here to help them. Mm. And so compact. You can fit it into your little purse and Yeah, exactly. Um, so even it works not only uh, in Australia, it works in New Zealand right through to the United Kingdom. Uh, most countries now are using the same system as Australia, which is digital video broadcasting terrestrial. So once we, any country, we go there, we scan for channels, take our laptop, take the little device, watch and record TV. Wow, that is great, Max. I must say, I can't wait to get one on the road myself. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks for being with us. Thanks and very much. Uh, if people want the product, of course, they can go to your website, which is... Maxi at maxihelp.com. I don't actually sell it on the website because of uh, a lot of problems people will know about. We prefer to sell people to people. So my phone number 0413 244 or they can go to my email address maxi at maxihelp.com 
or just the website maxihelp.com. So I get a lot of customers ask me about how good does my computer have to be? Does, will it work on a little netbook? Will it work on an old Dell? Will it work on a brand new Windows 7 computer? So here we have it working on a seven year old Dell computer with Windows XP. So all that's really involved after we've loaded the software is to plug the device into a USB port like that. We then go into the program. This little icon up here is the Blaze HD TV program. Now bear with me because this is an old Dell as we said before. It hasn't got very much RAM at all but the program starts we have the control panel here for where we would later on record. We've got down here all our channels and finally Windows comes up with live television. So here we've started, we've started on whatever channel. We can just click on one of the channels to go to another channel. Again, being an old XP, it's a bit slow. A new computer, where of course, will be faster. There we have the television. Here we click on the record, pause, snapshot, all those functions, you'll learn those later. Double click on the screen, we go to full, full screen. So here we have the setup screen after plugging the CD in. So we just double click on install the driver. And eventually, again being an old XP, it's a bit of a slow computer, but eventually she comes up. We get the next picture for installing the driver. Okay, so we've now finished loading the Blaze HD TV player. Now this is licensed software. It's got a normal readme function, but when we go to this next screen, it's asking to put, us, put our names in. It's actually not talking to the internet, so you don't have to be very uh, important about this. I, I'll put in Max. And I'll just say max at max. Oh. Who's that? <laughs> and I'll say max at max.com. I would then go through step by step, load the, the code from the back of the CD packet into here, click next, and away we go. And provided we do it properly, it'll say fine. If you actually ever have any trouble with this, just get back in touch me, with me, I'll send you another code and we'll help you through that problem. So here we come to the final screen where it says finish. Now please make sure you wait until this word finish comes up on your computer. Once we've done that, we can click the program. It's now installed the driver. So the only other thing, most Microsoft computers have already got DirectX installed. So then we just skip that one and we go to Blaze HD TV Player and so we click on that and it's the same sort of function we go through we can choose our language yes I've actually sold this to people who installed it in Chinese and all sorts of languages around the world but in this case we'll choose uh, <laughs> we'll choose English it says we've already installed it on this computer previously but we'll just make out we hadn't and we'll just go to next so welcome to the Blaze setup program next we agree to sell our grandmother, uh, sorry, we agree to accept the agreement. It just installs it into a C programs file, Blaze DTV, we're just going through normal, next, next, next. Away, away we go and we copy the files across. Having done that, we've now got Blaze installed. It'll ask us to register the code which was, as we said before, was on the back of the CD packet. The rest is straight through.